Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add credit card payments on big cartel websites. Of course, enabling credit card payments empowers your customers to shop with ease. And we're excited to help you make this experience as smooth as possible. So let's embark on the journey of integrating secure credit card payments into your online store. So make sure to stick by. Let's dive right into this video and let's get you into this step-by-step -step guide so let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and log in into our big cartel dashboard to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you open this browser make sure to go to the crl section simply type bigcartel.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you will be taken to the home screen or main screen of this website. Of course, you can simply scroll down to read more information about it if you don't know much about it. And if you have an account, make sure to go and click on login at the top right corner. Or if you don't have an account, click on sign up to create an account for yourself. If you're interested to see the pricing of this uh, website, you can click on pricing here and you can see this is the pricing with the features. You can pause the video and check it all by your own. For me, I'm just going to click on login to login into my account right away. Once I am here, of course, I will be on the dashboard. First of all, if you just created my account or logged in my account, I will always be on the dashboard. So make sure to finish this getting started checklist. It's a six steps, six simple steps. You can do it by your own. As an example here, we have to verify your location currency. This is used for tax settings and shipping profile. Complete it. So if you complete something, you will find this completed here. Add a product, so coming from another platform, you can also import your product listing on in a few click, clicks. For example, so if you're coming from uh, Etsy, Shopify, uh, Squarespace, or any other like dropshipping, maybe supplier or something like that, you'll be able to import any product that you have. You can simply go to the initial website, export it as CSV file, and that CSV file you can import it here and a big. Uh, cartel and of course you will have all your products here without any problems third one is explore shipping profiles you can quickly create uh, flat shipping rates uh, or customized profiles for your products then you will have to connect payment process which will uh, go through in this tutorial so you can choose paypal or stripe or both to begin accept payments online or in person then You'll be able to design your shop. So your shop is all about customize your layout, color, font, and upload your logo. And finally, launch your shop. So your store will have the most chance for success in your complete. If you complete all the steps above, you will be ready for showtime. So we once we are here, of course, we can simply go to our account at the top, with the right option of the top options here. Once we do so, we will have to look in for get paid. And as you can see, here is it. So you'll be able to accept credit card payments, which what we want. We want to add a credit card payment. We'll be able to do that with Stripe. And if you want to simply accept payments with PayPal, you will have that option too if you want to. So for me, I will simply go and click on set up a payment option. Once I do so, as you can see, I'll have here connects PayPal if I want to. If I click on it, I'll, I'll have this pop out and I'll simply have to log in with my account and PayPal will be connected. Same will be with Stripe, but if you have this option that Stripe isn't available in your country, you have three options. First option is to simply go and use a VPN. If that works, that will be great. You can simply use a VPN, refresh the page, or go and open a big cartel from a new. And if you still have that problem, you will have to go and create an, a new account with the VPN on. If you did create it with the VPN on, you will have this notify me gone. And even if that did not work for you, the last step is simply go back to your account and here on your account, make sure to go to this location and currency. Go and click on uh, edit location and currency and in your country, make sure to use United States as example or any country that uh, has Stripe already approved in their country. So if you choose the United States, you'll have to enter a street address, zip and postal code. You can go and get that as example from like uh, US go and open a new tab and type us address generator as an example hit the enter button and as you can see a random address generator so you can suit it, choose the state even the city the zip code and they will give you whatever you want about it as you can see 
So you can go and use that and enter it here, then simply save. Once you save, you can go back here to get paid, click on set up your payments option. And then now you will find this Stripe option like it connects PayPal. You'll find here connects Stripe. Click on it and you'll find the pop out like this. You'll have to log into your Stripe account to leave you good to go. If none of these three options work for you, you will have nothing to do. All you need to do is simply click on notify me. They will be taken to a new page of Stripe. Of course, you'll have to go and sign in into your account and you will have to wait until they notify you once you once Stripe is available in your account. It's, once it's available, it will be automatical, uh, automatically connected. And of course, it will be working now on your website without any problems. And you will say, okay, what uh, the credit card payment uh, has nothing to do with Stripe. No, uh, if you want to add credit card payments on Big Cartel, the only way is through Stripe. So you can simply use Stripe uh, to get uh, credit card payments, even Apple Pay through Stripe and a lot of other options. So once you do so, of course, let's just back into our account and let's just get into our website. So here you click on design to get into your website and here you can simply go to checkout as an example and check if you find this stripe once you connect it. Then make sure to configure the payment settings to reflect your preferences if you need to change anything. You can set up like the currency, define shipping options and configure taxes. And before you launch of course your store to the public, make sure to preview it on desktop, tablet and phone. and. Even before that, uh, perform like it's some tr test transactions to ensure that credit card payments are processing smoothly. This ensures that your customer will have a seamless checkout experience. Once you're done with credit card payments seamlessly integrated into your big cartel websites, you're ready to provide your customers with a modern and convenient shopping experience. Launch your store uh, by simply clicking on publish here at the bottom right corner and you will be good to go. So once you launch your store, of course, and watch your customers engage with your customers and service. And if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully added credit card payment to your big cartel website in 2023. By following these steps, you've taken a significant step towards enhancing your customer shopping experience and building a successful online business. So thank you for joining us in this journey of Empowered Your Growth. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. Of course, before I go, uh, if you still have any problems, as an example, in the big cartel, you can use this option at the bottom right corner. If you click on it, as you can see, you'll be able to search for help on site, search for answers if you want to, or scroll down to see the frequently asked questions. If you have one of those questions, you will find answers of them. And if that didn't help you on your problems, as an example, you can simply go and use this live chat option and they are not online now it's sunday but they will back online uh, later today uh, because it's not sunday anymore it's uh, nine minutes over sunday so once they are online they will answer you as soon as possible and try to solve your problem and i hope it's solved so this is going to be it for me today thanks for watching and i'm coming back to you in the next video